Hello and welcome to the demo for Solash 2, which is the sequel to Solash. Which um that's just so you know that there was a there was another one that um I'll be honest, I haven't played the original, so hopefully they don't really need to know anything about it. Go with a tiny world and I think a handful of civilizations is a good. I'm gonna do a seed of my own and with just straight up mat. Oh. I think I did it wrong. I think this one is actually really good. Uh, Mat's world. Save. Progressing the history. Well, that's cool. Like, the world is actually starting to progress and... Uh... Things are, like... Happening. We can, I guess... Progress it a little bit more if we wanted to. I feel like this is a pretty decent time to jump in. Alright, hardcore, uh, when you die, the world dies with you. And no, dark fantasy. Do you appreciate things that require a bit of effort to require? Yes. Do you like the high stakes combat of traditional roguelikes? Kind of? Do you wish your existence could change the world in a meaningful way? Yes. This is the recommended game mode. Permanent character death. Okay, I don't know. But you can begin as an existing family. Uh, let's see. High fantasy. Uh, do your thing with little consequence. And so basically, I don't die. My character doesn't age. <sighs> no, we're gonna we're gonna go with dark fantasy. My character's name is Matt, of course. We got human dwarf. Rasimi. An elf. A reptilian. A bone race, mushman. I don't like mushrooms, um, so maybe I'll play as them. Elves live for five hundred years. Jeez, dwarves live two hundred, and humans seventy. I'll be human. Why not? It's very cool that we have a whole bunch of different varieties here. For our hair, that is a lot. 218, that is a lot of different options for hair. Um, it's very impressive. Can't say, like, I don't think that the, um, the hairstyles actually go with anything that I really, really, really like, but... Eh, there we go. There we go. Blue. All right. Three starting skills. High romancy, indeed. My dude's gonna be a mage, obviously. Um, let's see, adventuring is um, trained by crafting, <clears throat> discovering things, resources, athletics by throwing, climbing, axe fighting, carpentry could be kind of a good idea. Leatherworthing, mace fighting, protection. Um, Well, I guess we're going to have a mixture of, um, you know, pyromancy, fight, sword fighting. And I guess tailoring. We don't have an option to have, like, baking, unfortunately. But 
We can't be a wizard baker. I'm going to do the farmer's village on oh, my family. Some of these people seem like really nice. It looks like there's all kinds of cool stuff if we get into this family. But you know what? I'm going to do... I'm going to be a bastard child. I, I feel like that's actually... A cool idea. Now, as always, well, do with the sandbox open world RPG roguelike with no restrictions on your goals and aspirations. Travel, craft, build, fight, and grow stronger. You may trade with existing settlements or wipe them out as you see fit. Interact with the world using mouse and right click to see alternative actions. The game is best played without much hand holding like in the good old days, except with informative tooltips. Over on the world and visit special locations that pop up while figuring out the immediate challenge of starvation and dehydration as you go. Okay. So, you know, we'll just we'll just start with there without reading anything else. Make my dude super smart. A little bit strong. Node beings. Just mat grass. An old well. That's infinite water. I would like to drink some water. Sweet. Go talk to this dude. Lanford Frisbinder. No, we don't want anything. Oh, wait. Is this a lady? Let's go talk to the lady. Vera Brockbell's looking really good at 55. Ooh, can you train me? Ah, so much money. All right. Well, you know what? We're just going gonna, gonna to head out of here. Let's see. I don't... Bileshard Town, Kingsdale Village, Island Ford Town. I just want to go north. When adventuring is complete. The average temper is freezing. I don't want to do that. Mild and wet. Wet and warm. Uh, plundered? No. Let's just enter the region and check it out. Mm, my dude is super, super hungry. There we go. Oh, I don't have a two for a woodcutter. Probably should have gotten one. What is this? This is my stamina. Hmm. I'll obviously have to take a nap or something at some point. I've discovered a rabbit hole. Well, I do need a lot of meat. Sweet. Look at that, we got some, um, got some carrots. We 
But at least they won't die of hunger, I don't think, but... Alright, my dude needs to take a nap. We'll just go ahead and sleep until we, um... Get our stamina back. Sweet. I don't know if it is, like, a good idea to sleep in a, in a room. Well, into... Not a room, but, you know, a cave. Essentially full of rabbits. Rabbits are known to be very, very violent. And uh, there was a documentary made by the British. Uh, documentary. Docu document. I don't know. The, the group of British folks that do like documentaries. Uh, Monty Python and the Holy Grail. Uh, you know, by the. Like you said, the, the group of documentary folks. Uh, Monty Python. And it was a story about how. Uh, once upon a time in England, uh, some folks, uh, they were exploring, looking for a place called Camelot. And, um, you know, they found um, a rabbit and it killed, uh, like, almost everyone because rabbits are insanely powerful. So you just got to be super careful with them. I feel like I've I should probably come back here. Actually, water doesn't seem to be something that you need like too much of. I was hoping I could like have the option to cook, but wait, where's my Where's my carrots? I picked up all those carrots and I don't have them. Wow. My dude is likely going to die. Because the carrots I picked up, I apparently didn't pick up. Oh well, whatever, you know what, it's fine, it's fine. have here these are berries right yeah oh i picked up them i've been eating them as i pick them up you just eat stuff that you find you don't know if it's gonna be okay it doesn't matter i mean like my dude's like I, you know I, I i don't think i'm gonna make it I'm just going to sleep till morning. Oof. This is just not looking... Not looking too good for us. But we definitely have another rabbit hole. Which, I mean... I mean, I can eat the carrots, but... Doesn't seem like it was really that, um, that worth it. I have discovered the plagued farm. Oh. Hello, cow. That I could milk the cow. Huh, I don't have a stamina. Dang. Wow, 
I'm very disappointed with the fire. Like, I, I thought for sure I was going to have done a little bit more. Um, yeah, my first adf adventure into this has resulted in my death. My final score is 25. Ooh, quite good, I think. Um... Oh, I survived to the age of 18. Wow. I didn't kill anybody. Good for me. Huh. All right. So basically, I did an absolutely terrible job. So let's give it another go, shall we? Let's we'll delete my world. New one. And we'll just call this take two. I think year 100 is still pretty good to start with. No reason I like get too far in the future. Continue. I'm going to do the same thing here. Yeah, we'll just do this guy. His name is going to be Marked. Adventuring seems to be like a really good idea. Um, because I do more of that than anything else. We'll do protection. I like the idea of this. Here's sword fighting. Hmm. Sword fighting and a pickaxe. Um, a water skin seems like a good idea. A wooden shield, a leather shield. Um, eh, yeah, I think those are good. I wish it did some kind of better indication of which town I'm I'm at. Um, cause it's a little bit harder to tell. All right, this time we're gonna go. With this, these easily like they have only like one family member, so. Is that a well? Inside of the building? Okay, now we got plenty of water. I don't have enough food though. of hay. What am I doing with hay? I don't want hay. Drop that. It's a nice little village. Yeah, it looks very quaint. Maybe we can um, steal things from these guys. No. I mean, it's probably for the best. Give me some strength, uh, some endurance, and just slightly intelligent. I need, like, the woodcutter tool. Oh, let's see. Hmm. I guess I want to go up here, like, very north. Now this place is freezing. This is a bad idea. There we go. We get ourselves a road. Oh, I mean, it's more of a path, but... So far, like, I've, I've, I find this to be, like, a really chill, like, experience. It's, like, a very old-school kind of adventure, or not adventure, RPG. Um, I really like the world building. Uh, the world building is really well done. Uh, the way that we explore and everything is pretty cool.
are these? These are... This is definitely like an apple tree. Think? Let's see. Alright, we need more water and food. I wish I had this dude's appetite. Wolf trying to rest for a bit. Uh oh, we got a danger situation. An attacked convoy caravan. It says it's the difficulty is easy. <laughs> we will see, because uh, the last time that it said that, it was not, and I died rather quickly. Sweet scavenge. I uh, can't because I'm missing a tool. Wait. Oh, okay. I was like, who's attacking me? Like. Why is this guy not doing anything? He should totally be fighting the wolf, too. All right. Oh, there's another wolf. Oh, well, we completed the quest. That's the first. A lucky fur cap. Ah, oh, sweet. Very nice. And we got a crafting resource. You know, things actually went relatively well for us. Take that hand too. I mean, seems like there's still like a whole bunch of enemies. Uh, I don't think I'm prepared to really keep fighting that many people, uh, so I'm gonna run away like um, Brave Sir Robin, also part of the documentary that I discussed earlier. I wish there was like a better uh, system for like eating. Like I don't think the system's bad or anything, but man, my dude gets so freaking hungry. Like he's he's a very, very hungry guy. I don't want to go into the rabbit hole. The rabbit hole's kind of difficult to figure out where everything is. So we'll just we'll just leave. Today's adventure was uh, not really one that was good. Oh, I still haven't even made it to 18 years old yet. I assume the uh, life expectancy in this world is really, really low because I died at 18. Uh, I'm, I feel like my guy is going to end up dying of hunger. I, mean, I could go back to my town and um, see if maybe, um, you know, I could get some other stuff. But I don't want to ask them for help. Not that there's anything wrong with asking for help. I just don't want to. I'm a solo adventurer doing cool adventuring stuff. I, I really want to be able to uh, do it all on my own. I'm very surprised I haven't found, like, either 
Not necessarily another well, but I'm surprised they haven't found like more water sources like kind of out here. Another attack caravan. I need this cutter thing, whatever that is. Oh, I don't have... What? I don't have all the ability requirements? Seriously? Why is it even an option if it's, like, something I can't use? Yeah, I will loot all of them because I'm sure there'll be some pretty cool if they're too heavy to pick up. Son of a... Stupid wolves. we got some cool stuff out of it and it's our second little area that we've actually explored to fruition what are these cotton mm, I feel like the cotton would be something that might be useful um, at some point like maybe make my own stuff like a, like a t-shirt it says Mart was here. I think it's funny that Mart, the um, the silly throwaway character, is surviving longer than the character designed to be me. Um, that's just kind of funny. All right, maybe I can cook. Can I cook? I cannot cook. Hey, all right, what is this? A bandage. Ooh, sweet. Uh, shaking with or even use an improvised club. That's kind of cool. All right. I feel like there's got to be somebody here who, um, like maybe there's somebody I can find that will allow me to, um, maybe sell something, uh, Trainers, ooh, trade goods, sweet. Um, my backpack. Oh, they don't really want to give me much of anything for anything, but that's okay. I will read you this: uh, the wolf fur, black seed, this, uh, all of these things for sixteen gold. Not really what I wanted, but I'll take it. What about you? Do you have any food? Nobody has food. This is a whole village of people that apparently survive off of air. Dude, stop moving so I can talk to you. It must be because I only have one eye. Shit. Come on. Come on. Stop moving. There we are. Oh, fair thing. Well, I, well, I need to buy some food, man. I, I, I just don't have enough. Ooh, Hazel. Let me... Can I ask Hazel out? Um, to tell her that we're both the same age, and... Um, no, I guess not. Probably for the best. I was just looking out for my boy, man. My my Mart took a dick brand. I wanted him to be able to find someone and move on with his life and have a nice life. Uh, you know what? I want to go to this tree. I think the tree is probably like a um. Yeah, it's an elf village. All right, I get a fresh bit of water. Mm, 
some dirt. Like a mountain. I think it's funny that I have such a wide range of vision when I'm exploring, but when I'm in town, I can see uh, just like a very few places in front of me. It's an odd choice. Like, I mean, it's whatever. Like, not a big deal. Ugh, a rabbit hole. I don't like the rabbit holes. Yeah, see, look, it says... He picks up one carrot. Oh, no, not what I want. No, still not what I want. Oh, all right. Well, I guess uh, I wasn't necessarily eating the, them all the time. All right. I'm sorry, rabbit, but you're going to have to go. Oh, I actually picked up the rabbit corpse. Awesome. Sweet. Ah, uh, yeah, that you know, I basically just made the world a safer place. And pre impr imp improved my skills a little bit. Not a lot, but but enough to where it's like I feel pretty good. Liquid source tin blood. Hmm. Okay, uh, okay. Let's see. Building a fire. Required tools, a fire starter, which I don't have. <sighs> and I, I, I don't have enough, like, cash to really buy anything. Town seems to have not a lot. I guess I'll go back to... I'm going to actually go to where those, um... The elf villages, and maybe they'll sell me something useful. Oh, very nice. We're like in a giant tree. Oh, we got water. Sweet. Is this um full? It is indeed. What are you doing over there? Oh, there is a person. Hello, person. Hello, elves that weren't here just a second ago. Oh, Galadriel Cathruth. Mm, you know, she seems pretty nice. Um... Looks quite good for 76, but if they live to 500 years, like a 76 or 96 year old, I feel like that's still kind of a toddler. Mart, I don't think this is going to be a place that we can try to get you some romance. Oh, look at this. This dude has bananas. Sell you this. Sell you that. Oh, and he wants to buy all my dead stuff. Wow. Oh, happy times. We'll take two bananas, please. Thank you. Three. Nah, we'll take uh, that many bananas. Sweet. I got a little bit of a little bit more food. Um, I gotta find somebody to buy these hands. Convince people that I'm like a hands salesman. A hand salesman. It just sounds awkward. Like, what do you do for a living, Mart? Well, I cut off people's hands and then I sell those hands to, like, elves and stuff. <laughs> it's like, oh. Okay, you... You do your weird stuff. How do I get out of here? Oh, sweet. You can just straight up push this button to get out of here so you don't have to, like... Spend a whole bunch of time just being straight up lost. That's pretty helpful. And not that like I'm opposed to the adventuring aspect. I've been having a plenty wonderful time exploring the world. Um, let's see, I think I'm going to go to this town. I need to find... We'll, we'll enter it. Uh, just to check it out. But I need to find um, some things to, to better survive. Like, my problem is I just... I don't have enough... I don't have enough food. Water and 
It doesn't seem to be too much of an issue. You seem to do a fairly decent job of, you know, having a bunch of water before you uh, die, essentially. I know I could just push E, but that requires moving my hand away from the inventory button. Those don't give you much health. Like, at, or not health, but hunger stuff. I mean, I, I suppose it's fine. I mean, it makes sense. They're berries. Like, berries. I, like, I eat strawberries. They don't really fill me up. Oh, see, we got another situation here where a lot of bad things have happened because of these creatures. I feel like the wolf population might be a little bit a little bit out of control. Like I'm not a hundred percent sure, but did that rabbit attack me? I think it did. Where'd you go, rabbit? Oh, it's a person. Well, they're still attacking. I can't say I'm a big fan of all of the, um... What can I use? What's happened? There we go. I was like, I can't use my sword attacks. It's kind of disappointing. Anyway, I will say that um, I'm a little disappointed that there's all these people here, right? I need this cutter. It's going to have to be something that happens. Um, I'm a little disappointed that I see all these people, you know, around here or doing stuff and whatever. But I can't, like, do anything with it. Uh, or not really. Not. Uh, what am I trying to say? I'm a little disappointed that I see these people who are in this situation where there's enemies and there's obviously some kind of negative uh, thing happening. But instead of, like, doing anything useful, like, um, you know, trying to survive, they're just like, meh. Not a big deal. We'll just um, let this kid that's in here randomly handle it. What's the worst that happens? It's an ambush. Oh. Um... Okay, weird. Weird. Uh, meat, man. They got tons of meat. But I don't know how to, like, cook anything yet. I, I, I want to find a cutter. And none of those are probably it. They want to find the cutter so I can actually start salvaging bodies. Um... It's weird to find all this stuff, and I and I just can't interact with a lot of it in the way that that I would like to. Stone cooked meat. I wonder if I have to craft it myself. No. Oh, smell of fresh bread. Do you have bread? Ah, oh, bananas, coconuts, wheat beer. You don't have bread. You're a liar. Hot buns? Hot buns? Yes. I want to buy bread. Oh, come on. Like, how do we get in here? All right. Sell me your bread. Oh, come on. Hello, Alice. Oh, you're 15? Oh, but you got bread. Oh, oh, oh. oh yes. My dude is a happy guy because he got some bread. Let's eat the bread. And now let's let's go ahead and get out of this place. I just I wish it was so much easier to find the stuff that I need. Like I'm not sure if like talking to a trainer, I mean, like would be exactly what I need. But probably when I create my character, um, I'll need to pay attention to what skills might potentially start me with the cutter because I really want to be able to be this like kind of self-sufficient explorer um 
But there just seems to be a lot that I just can't do because I'm missing items. And in order to get those items, I have to find them and I don't really know where they are. Um, I'm sure I could figure it out. I, I don't know if it's like because I just maybe don't have like the... The equipment? Oh, I haven't been equipping the stuff that I need. That is probably why it hasn't been working. Wow. Okay. Um, hit plus 20, parry damage 3 to 5, 2 to 3. Mm, all right. Damage 10 to 12, 9 to 10. Yeah, we're going to switch to the Gladius. I think that's a good idea. I've been really satisfied with the... Um... <laughs> I'm missing a Harvester. Probably consistently, you found something, but you can't have it. Oh, no, 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 don't, don't run away, Mr. Scarecrow. You and I can be best friends. I'm scared. For two turns, apparently. Oh, man, this guy's, like, tough. Oh, well, you know what? Mart's going to die here. And it's fine. It's, it's whatever. I'm going to go down in a blaze of glory, though. Womp womp. I was killed by an animated scarecrow. I mean, he did kind of okay. Well, I did worse somehow. I think that's probably a good point in which I can stop because, um, yeah, I've, I've been really enjoying this. Um, I'm going to have to throw this and the first Solash onto my wish list because I haven't played the first one. I don't think the first one is necessary to have a good time here, but it's like, I mean, I've been playing this for like 40 something minutes and I feel like I've barely scratched the surface and it, this very much feels like a game that you can, once you jump into and you really start just kind of having a good time with it, uh, there's hours and hours of content, most likely. I mean, if the demo feels like it's be played for hours on end, you can only imagine the full game's potential. But anyway, I really like it. I'm very impressed with it. Uh, definitely one of the highlights of uh, the demos I've played here recently. So I encourage you to check out the demo for yourself. See if you like it. If you do like it, wishlist it, buy it when it's right for you. And um, yeah, that's it.